the ABC 15 investigators following some new developments in the controversial Fast and Furious case, the Attorney General back in the hot seat today, this time answering questions from the Senate Judiciary Committee. And as ABC 15 investigator Lori Jane Gleha reports, he says more people will be held accountable. This should never have happened, and it must never happen again. Attorney General Eric Holder admits mistakes were made in the controversial Fast and Furious case, but he told members of the Senate Judiciary Committee he believes he acted responsibly after learning agents here in Phoenix allowed weapons to get into the hands of criminals, a strategy called gunwalking. I took action. I asked the department's inspector general to investigate this matter and I ordered that a directive be sent stating that such tactics violate department policy. Holder says he's waiting for the inspector general's report to determine who else should be held accountable. Have you apologized to the family of Brian Terry? Uh, I have not apologized to them. Holder says he's never spoken to the family of slain Arizona Border Patrol agent Brian Terry, shot in the back last December. He told the committee he regrets two of the weapons involved in the Fast and Furious case turned up at the scene of Terry's murder. I can only imagine the pain that his family has had to, to deal with, in particular um, his mother. I am the father of three children myself. We are not programmed to bury our, our kids. It is not fair, however, to assume that um, the mistakes that happened in Fast and Furious directly led to the death of Agent Terry. The Attorney General admitted that his office sent some incorrect information to congressional leaders early on in this case, but he claims that was unintentional. He promises that the recent changeup of ATF leadership means reforms to prevent future strategies like the one used in the Fast and Furious case. I'm investigator Lori Jangleha, ABC 15 News.